Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Corkley Land Phil Group testifies before Cancer Cluster Commission. State health officials and the Corkley Land Phil Group said Monday that there is no proven link between contamination at the former dump site and a cluster of rare cancers in the area. Attorney Robert Sullivan of the Corkley Landfill Group said that in the early 1990s, the federal government, which did most of the dumping at the now high-profile Seacoast Superfund site, handed over more than five million and then walked away. State and local government officials are left looking at each other for answers on what to do about groundwater contamination and could be connected to quickly and how to deal with a scientifically proven cluster of rare cancers on the sea coast. Sullivan said that even if the Superfund site had installed a pump and treat remediation system, as was initially called, for in the early 1990s, it wouldn't have removed the kind of pre for chemical contamination that is now on everyone's radar. Environmental Protection Agency officials said there is no reason to take action at the landfill now. But officials said they want to gather more information about the groundwater. EPA officials raised some eyebrows Monday when they couldn't name any other Superfund site in the region where it initially called for a pump and treat system and then didn't build one. The EPA plans to conduct a deep bedrock analyst under the Corkley landfill officials said that work could begin sometime in June. And that does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.